Okay guys, we're back with our part two of Veeam Backup and Replication version 8 working with NetApp storage systems. So in the first part we've gone through step by step and taken a backup of our virtual machine Windows 2008 R2. So in uh, part number two what we're going to be doing is restoring that virtual machine. So I'm just going to get out of my Veeam Backup and Recovery for a sec. And this is the virtual machine that we took the backup of. So I'm actually going to be powering it off and deleting it. So I select delete from disk. And we'll jump back into Veeam here. So I'm just in backups and storage snapshots here. I'll right click on my virtual machine backup and I'll select instant VM recovery. So this is the snapshot of the volume in NetApp. So if I jump back into my NetApp, you'll see that that is exactly this snapshot here on the volume VMDS2. So I'll select that and I'll click next. And here we have two options. So in this demo, we're going to be using the first option, restore to the original location. So we also have this option to restore to a new location or with different settings. Now just to take note, if you are using restore to the original location, the primary virtual machine cannot exist. So if you're thinking of doing a clone or a copy using this uh, backup recovery, then don't select option one, select option two. Now if you do select restore to the original location and the source virtual machine does still exist, this wizard will prompt you to delete that virtual machine. So if you wish to keep the source virtual machine and you just wish to restore a copy or a clone, select option number two. However, because we've deleted the source virtual machine and we want to restore the entire server, we will select option number one. So we'll type in a reason to restore. And move along. Now here's a little bit of a summary of the instant recovery settings that we've selected previously. I'll select connect the VM to the network. Uh, I won't power it on automatically. And we will click next. And in this step, the recovery process will begin. Okay, so as we can see here, the recovery part one has completed. And you can see in the last step that we are waiting for user to start migration. So I'm going to click finish here. And you're going to see up here on the left hand side under instant recovery, it's in bold. And we can see that the Windows 2008 R2 virtual machine that we've restored is mounted. That's the current status. If I minimize the Veeam backup and recovery window, and we go into our vCenter server, we can see our virtual machine has been restored into this location here, which is what we selected during the wizard. But we can see that the storage is not the source storage data store that we selected previously. Now, if I go into my host, we can see that this is the original data store here, VMDS2. And we can see that the virtual machine is actually located in this data store, which is a folder off VMDS2. So let's open up VMDS2. And we can see the Veeam Restore Windows 2008 R2 folder, which contain our restored virtual machine. Now if we browse on the snapshot in VMDS2, we can actually see exactly the same thing, which are all the virtual machine files at that point in time that we did our backup. So this one here, the Veeam Restore Windows 2008 R2, is the mounted backup that it's displaying here as mounted. So our next step, what we need to do is migrate this virtual machine to our final destination data store. So to do that, we right click on the virtual machine and we select migrate to production. And here we can select our host where we want to move the virtual machine to. As I only have one ESXi host in this lab environment, uh, we don't have much choice here. So I'll leave that as VM host one. We can select the resource pool. So we'll select the same resource pool as what the source virtual machine is in select the VM folder. So the virtual machine was originally in discovered virtual machine folder. So we'll leave it on that. And here we can select the data store where we wish to restore our virtual machine. 
So if I expand out our host here, this is the selection of data stores that I have at the moment. This was the source data store. Because I'm running the NetApp SAN simulator, we are only limited to 20 gig. And because it still contains the snapshot, I'm not going to be able to restore into this data store. So I'm going to select my vSphere data store 1, which has 559 gig free. And I'll click OK here. We can also pick data stores for individual virtual disks as well. So let's go next. We have our source and target proxy. This Veeam backup and recovery server is also a proxy server. So I'm just going to leave this on automatic settings. And we'll click here on force Veeam quick migration so that storage vMotion is used. And we'll go to the next screen. Here is a summary of what we've selected in our quick migration wizard. The only option that we have here is to delete the source VM files upon a successful quick migration. I'll untick that for now. Uh, I'll manually go through and delete the backup later on. And we'll click finish and the process will begin. Our quick migration job has now completed and if we click OK here we can see that our restored virtual machine is still mounted and if I jump into vCenter server we can see that our Windows 2008 R2 virtual machine that I've got highlighted here is in our vSphere data store 1 and this second virtual machine here Windows 2008 R2 underscore migrated is the virtual machine that Veeam has mounted onto its data store theme underscore Windows 2008 R2. So now that we're finished with this virtual machine, we can actually remove it. So I'm going to go back to my Veeam server, right click on the mounted virtual machine, and select Stop Publishing. So if you remember back to the wizard where we had the option to delete the source virtual machine, if you select that, this virtual machine would have been removed. So we're going to do that manually now. So we'll just click on Stop Publishing. As you can see, the status is now dismounting. And the virtual machine has been dismounted. I will just show you this in vCenter. So we're just left with the recovered virtual machine here, still in our data store, vSphere data store 1. And we'll click OK here. And that concludes our demonstration on Veeam backup and replication with NetApp Storage. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.